Okay, welcome to the first screencast video from Writing 3020, The Comic Frame. I'm your instructor, Nathan Peplow, and I'm going to create several of these tutorial videos to teach you how to use the website. The first thing that you need to do if you land on the website is you need to go over here and click on login slash dashboard. This is where we're going to create a user account for you. You don't yet have a username and password, so go down to the bottom and click register. Here you can choose a new username for yourself, could be anything, and then type in your email and click register. The system will send you an email that gives you a randomly generated password. You can copy that, go back to the login site, and click login with your new username and password. When you log in, you're going to see this page, which is called the dashboard. The dashboard is like the behind the scenes version of the website. It's like being backstage. The dashboard is where you're going to create your posts and things. Uh, if you want to go back out to the, to the front side of the website, you can click up here and that'll take you back out to the real website. Note that you can now see some things that you couldn't see before now that you're logged in. <clears throat> For one thing, you can see my member profile which was in a private category. You should also be able to see this calendar link, which you couldn't see before. If you click on it, you'll see our first day's instructions. For Tuesday, July 5th, this is what you're going to have do. Uh, here is all the things that you need to do for that day. Everything you need to do every day is going to be on this calendar so you're going to need to come and log into the website and take a look at what's posted on the calendar for each day. That will tell you what's due. For the first day, so one of the things that you need to do is you need to read the course syllabus. You can find that right up here under about 3020, these seven pages. These are all the course syllabus. There's going to be a quiz over that of some type in the next couple of days. And then the other thing you're going to need to do, uh, the second thing you're going to need to do, is change your profile settings on the dashboard. So let me show you how you're going to go back and do that. If you go back, uh, actually I think we're going to hit the back button. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is uh, change your auto-generated password. You see this uh, Notice here, it says, would you like to change your password to something easier to remember? Click on yes, take me to my profile page. Another way to get to your profile page is by clicking right here. <coughs> when you get to your profile page, you'll be able to change your password right down here. You don't have to worry about the biographical info here, but what I do want you to do is I want you to type in your first name oops, and your last name right there and then I want you to come down here and click on this drop down menu and say display name publicly as and then choose the version that has your first name and your last name together <coughs> that's going to be very helpful to me and to everybody else in the class so that we know who's actually posting at any given time. Um, another thing that I want you to be able to do is upload a photo, but I don't see how to do that right now. So there must be something I need to click that will let us do that down the road. So I'll get back to you on that. So for now, uh, the main thing that you need to do is get your first name, your last name, and then display name publicly as. Then you need to come back down and hit update profile, 
otherwise that won't update. The last thing that you need to do for your homework, oops, sorry, homework, is to write your first blog post, which will be your member profile. So you can click on member profiles to see the ones that have been posted already. Right now, that's just mine. You can read mine. It'll tell you a little bit about me. It'll give you an, an idea of what the member profile is supposed to be like. You'll notice that I've put some photos in here. You're welcome to do that as well. You're encouraged to do that as well. You're not required to at this point. Um, and the uh, so th this is going to be a little biographical information that, that helps us get to know one another right at the beginning of the class. To create a profile, what you need to do is go back to the dashboard and then go over here to where it says posts and click on the little arrow and hit add new. This is the area where you will create new posts. Here where it says enter title here, I'd like you to put in your name. This first member profile is going to be uh, just uh, named after you. Down here, this is a very important thing that you need to do. Every time you post, you need to put the post in the proper category. <clears throat> if you fail to put your post in the proper category, you're not going to get credit for having turned it in on time. Also, some of these categories are private and some are public. So if you fail to put your post in the wrong category, you could end up making something public and visible to anybody on the web that you may not have wanted to be visible. For this one, the proper category is member profiles. So that's number four. You'll have to click that box there. Here in this box, you get to write whatever you want. This is your text editor. I think you'll find it helpful to click on this button. This gives you more uh, <clears throat> options for how to go about uh, writing your text. You'll notice that you've got bold and italic and uh, ways to put bulleted lists in, numbered lists, etc. You can put things in left or right. Um, you can also use the styles here to turn something into uh, a heading if you want. Uh, this is a very useful little uh, thing. If you're pasting something in, if you're going to write your profile text or your blog post text in a word processor and then copy and paste it into WordPress, uh, you can do that here. And when you uh, paste it here and then you insert it, that means that it will come in without the uh, formatting uh, that it had in the original, which is very very useful. If you want to upload a photo, that link is right up here. This is where it says add media files from your computer. You hit select files and then you can choose the photo and hit open and it will give you this page. Here is where you can type a caption if you want. You can choose uh, an alignment uh, for your photo, uh, whether you want it to be uh, uh, have the be on the left with the text wrapped around it, in the center with the text wrapped around it, or on the right with the text wrapped around it, or if you want the text to split uh, above it and below it, that would be none. You can choose a size, uh, the original size, or one of these. I usually choose medium. Medium's about right uh, in most cases. Uh, so in this case, you know, it might do a left medium, and then you can click insert into post. And you will see in your text editor that the photo has been uh, inserted now, and now you can uh, 
type your text around it. If you want to edit your caption, you can just go down here and edit that right there. Notice these two tabs right here. Right now we're in the visual editor. That's the uh, show it like you're going to see it when you publish it type of editor. If you are more interested in seeing the HTML, you can click on that. Notice how the photo disappears and is replaced by the HTML code that's going to generate that image. Sometimes it's useful to go into HTML mode and some of you may be more comfortable working in HTML mode. I tend to work in visual mode. It tends to be easier for me. Once you are done writing your profile, and notice that you can, by the way, save drafts if you want to, uh, but once you're done, then you just click the Publish button. And it will say up here, Post Published, View Post. You can click on View Post and it'll take you out to the front side of the website where you can see what you just created. It's always good to double check to make sure that it got into the right profile. Uh, sorry, the right category. Uh, you should be able to uh, click on the category and see your own post. It may not be the first thing that comes up, but it should come up if you have done this correctly. All right, that is the basic information that you need to know to get your homework done for the first day of class. Uh, let me know if you have any questions by sending me an email, and I look forward to getting to know you via these member profiles.